hide some shell movement lessons and I'm going to show you how to work on your face. One of the things when you work on your face is again it's it's that gentle touch. It's not you know I'm I'm resting, I'm down, my arms down on my table. So I'm not using muscles even from my arm to support my hand. My hand's just coming off the table. And if you want to go with two hands, all I'm doing here is just feeling how my head just turns or rotates on my spine and rotates back. And again, it's so slow, so gentle. But what you need to start doing is just a feeling the quality of the movement as your head turns. Does your head feel heavy? Is your jaw clenched? Is there any issues with your breathing? Now when you work on yourself, you don't want to have, like my left arm is right now, up in the air too long. You don't want uh, to be a force in your muscles or in the movements. And even quite quickly, at least I can, you start feeling even uh, the movements in, in what should be just a few sutures. I know that's familiar for some people, and for some people they might have never felt that before. But most people feel they have to go to someone like me to get this done. Let me tell you, I can do wonders with your head. One hour with me, you float out of here. But, you can get to me. If it's the middle of the night, you have a migraine, your head hurts, your neck hurts, your back hurts. Let me tell you what you can do for your head. And again, if I'm noticing my arms up too long, so I'm just going to rest. Now you can do something, just that alone, for literally good 20 minutes. And what you're going to start to feel in 20 minutes, again, you're going to feel how the movements get more and more subtle. Anything like this. Now what I'm looking for again is that rotation. It's almost like where your hat line is on your head. That just that rotation of the skull to and fro. You do something like this right before you go to sleep. Ugh, great night's sleep. Now the next thing I'm going to do showing you again, this is just another way to work on your face. I have a friend of mine that's across the pond. She dislocated her jaw, so I'm doing some self-face stuff. You're going to come in right underneath your neck, base of your skull. Now everyone's base of their skull is different. We have different shaped heads from our genetics, nationalities, we look like our daddies, we look like we're from Japan, you know, anywhere. Uh, Northern Quebec's going to have a different shaped face than Arizona. It's just, it's just the way it is. I'm German, I've got that, I've got everything else. So what I'm going to do is just find that nice little niche. Now it's not too far in your back. You'll feel there's like almost like a little cubby right in the back of your spine underneath your skull, the skull where you can put your fingers. So as I push just ever so gently into my neck, I'm just going to take my fingers just to the base of my sinus cavity, right to the top of the brim of the nose. So as I'm pushing sort of down and into my neck, I'm just pressing to the top of the brow of my face. And now with me, I can feel my whole neck bend. And then I'm going to bring the brow down as my fingers on my other hand release. Now when I say release, they still have contact with my neck. And, you know, you can do this with the eyes open. It just changes your visual complexity. And lifting. And again, pressing into the neck. 
Now as you learn to do this, you can move your fingers around on the brow of the neck. Or let's say I'm going to move more towards the corner. So again, that's my, my torque if I'm going up towards the wall. But you can feel your diaphragm reorganized from this chest cavity. And see right there, it goes into the low jaw. And I'm not trying to rip my head off. Again, I'm just, it's almost like I'm going for a ride. So as I, I push into the neck and my head goes up, my thumb's going with it. There's still a little resist, you know that tension in there just to push it that little bit more. And again, look at me, I'm, I'm complete mush. My hands, everything's are against the table. Now I can go down to a lower vertebrae, down even more towards C7 and do this. It's a more complex move, but it's a possibility. I can go right in here to the socket so I'm going down into C7, so I'm literally pushing into C7 like this, and I'm going up through my socket. So I'm twisting the head off the neck cavity. And of course, if you want to do the other side, then you roll over and you do the other side. You can do the other side right now, or you can have a good night's sleep and do it on another day. So those are just some nice ways you can work on your face, on your side. So now I'm going to go on my back. So just on my lying on my back like this, this is a really cool technique because what you're going to do is you're going to go right underneath, almost through the palate. So if I had a stick that I could put through my face, right? So here's the top of the brim. This is just wonderful for sinuses. So what you're going to do is you're going to come underneath here. So again, I'm, I'm lying, my hands on my chest, so I'm not up here. And now I'm at the top of my head, so here, come down just a little bit. So I'm dead on the top of my head. So notice how, as I'm twisting the jaw to the left, I'm twisting my head to the right. So you just want to stay with the one side at first. So again, I'm relaxing my arm on my chest. My other arm is on my table. Now, good point. If this is difficult and your arm's more like this, then support it with a pillow underneath so you're getting support. I don't want the, any kind of essential tremors going on because there's too much muscle going on the arm. I just want you nice and relaxed. So after you do the left side for a bit, rest, bring your arms down, rest again, you don't want a lack of blood flow through the shoulder cavity, whichever, and then do it to the right. And at this time too, you'll even feel how the chest cavity might need to give the head, and then after again you rest doing that, then you do the full movement. So I'm doing to the left and to the right. You can, if you want, bring the head more here if you're working the temple. Now, if you bring the hand to the temple now, you're bringing more to the surface of the nasal and sinus cavity. And you have the apnoid, septoids here, the full nasal cavity. So, so again, all of you with allergies, sinus headaches, you know, you might get a complete drain. Um, you can see that... Um, on my subscription site, I've just added some really good face videos, and he just went like the, the dam broke. But when I do something like this, and again, notice it's a twist. I'm not going left, right. I don't work left, right, up, down. I, I, I'm the torquer. I twist. And soon, see again, if you go back here and underneath the palette, you're working the whole inside of your palette nasal cavity. I'll do it from the other side so you can see it a little bit better.
again, I'm not doing left, right, left. I, I, it's, it's just like you're twisting a jar, the top off the jar. That same twist, I'm doing the same with my skull. Again, I can do it to the side, to the left, to the right. Notice how your breathing changes. Notice how the, the jaw releases. So you can go side to side. A lot of people are so used to the jaw being a part of them. Yeah. Now, if I wanted to, I can actually move my jaw. Here I'm only doing it with the fingers. But let's say if I bring my whole jaw to the right. And that's just accentuating the movement by actually helping. Here I'm holding the jaw and I'm sort of twisting and bringing the jaw down. And this is what I really hope will help my friend. So see I have, I'm cupping the jaw and I'm just, it's a light pull. My touch is always like I like to say like pastry, like you're, you're tapping dough. I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not leaving fingerprints. And see again how I'm twisting the top of the skull. And then again, if you wanted to switch that, it's just here. And don't do too much rest. You'll probably be sound asleep. Do this at night going to bed. So here's the other really cool one. Pull on your ears. <laughs> so you take your ears. And first of all, just, just have the left ear held, but you're only pulling on the right ear. And, you know, 10, 20 times, whatever it takes. Notice your breathing. Again, if your arms need to be propped, get that pillow. And rest, rest, bring your arms down. Bring it back and do the left side. And again, you're just holding on to the right, but the left is doing the pull. And what I'm doing is connecting the ear canals through. So after you've done the left side, now rest. So now you're going to do right, left, obviously. But when I do this now, notice I'm starting to twist, twist down to the right and twist down to the left. So it's just like if you were watching old cartoons where they're wringing out the ears with the dish towel. You have no idea what this even begins to do for your neck muscles. It doesn't replace me, but it comes pretty close. And rest. And now that the ears start to become much more malleable, just feel what it's like. You can really get in there to the whole ear canal with a bit more force than I'm used to giving. But anyway, this is like 15 different ways you can work on your face. Well, maybe not that many, but it will be hard for me to go back to work. So let me know what you think about working on your face. It's pretty cool.